if I would have spoke about this topic of conversation last year, my entire channel would have gone deleted. So I'm taking a risk in today's video on speaking about this topic. But New York Post just made an article saying that the shot is linked to a slight increase in heart, brain, and blood disorders. This is not something that should be taken lightly in my honest opinion. It has over 24 million views. I think this should be broadcasted across news platforms. I think that this topic right here should be plastered on all media outlets. Fox News, CNN, CBS, The Shade Room, World Star. Everyone should be speaking about this. This was literally the biggest deception, the biggest hoodwink of our entire generation. Yeah, I want you to understand that. If anyone spoke about the shot, if anyone made comments about whether or not to get it, you were automatically classified as an individual who was spreading misinformation and they immediately deplatformed you. It happened to several content creators. It almost happened to my channel twice. This is literally what caused me to go down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories. For the life of me, I couldn't understand why YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all social media platforms were prohibiting individuals to practice their freedom of speech only when it came to this topic right here. You can go on Twitter right now and see Big Booty Judy twerking ass on the motherfucking kids. You can see transgenders performing lap dances in middle schools. But God forbid you make a comment about the shot, you automatically get deplatformed. That was the beginning of this channel. That was what caused me to dive deeper and deeper. I did not understand the level of censorship, but now we do, yeah? See, see uh, uh, excuse me, New York Post just made this article right here, and it literally says vaccines. Excuse me, I can't say that. God forbid I get this video deleted. The shot is linked to a slight increase in heart, brain, and blood disorders, yeah? That's not something to be taken lightly. Put this on every media outlet out there, please. Share this to your aunts, your uncles, anybody who got this shot, send this to them. Go see a doctor immediately. Headline would have gotten you silenced on social media three years ago, 100%. I do distinctly remember being told that it was 100% safe and effective. Of course, that's what they said. Uh, deception is at an all time high. If this right here doesn't dismantle the structure of the entire Illuminati, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't dismantle the structure of the organization that truly controls us, I don't know what will, bro. If this doesn't wake people up to how the government lies to you in order for you to do exactly what they want, I don't know what will, bro. They told you it was 100%. They were incentivizing people with cheeseburgers and free fries, my nigga. From Shake Shack to go and get it. Red flag. Never have I ever heard any campaign say that illegal immigrants would not be arrested if they came and got this. I've never heard that in my life. I've heard a lot of campaigns saying that they want to close the border. Barack Obama was the leading president in deportation. And I've never heard in my life say that an illegal immigrant would not be detained or not be deported if they got there. Listen, bro. Listen. We have this video right here. This is the article right here, and there's a video of mRNA question after biggest fact study. 99 million in eight nations, bro. This is absolutely insane. I'm going to pray for anybody who did get it. I'm laughing at all the people who argued with me when they called me a conspiracy theorist about the vax. And I told them it's not safe to get. Meanwhile, they were arguing. Let's just watch this video, bro. 99 million people worldwide who were vaccinated were looked at. And what the researchers did, and this research and this data was published in a journal last week called Vaccine. And what they did was they specifically looked for... Have you guys heard of that, that uh, publishing? I haven't. 
13 different medical conditions. For example, they looked for myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart. They looked for blood disorders that caused blood clots. They looked for neurological disorders, like for example, guillain barre syndrome, which is a, a disorder of the nervous system. And they looked for other types of diseases as well. And what they found was that there was an increase in these types of medical conditions after taking the vaccine. And even though it was a small increase, this is important information. Because for example, if you have a history of blood clots, you want to talk to your doctor before you go out and get this vaccine that could make you more prone to developing another blood clot which could be life-threatening, mm -hmm. um, or if you have a history of inflammation in your heart or inflammation in your brain or your spinal cord, you need to be aware of these side effects. Now, the potential side effects from vaccines are not new, but this further confirms that they do exist and they must be acknowledged. And I feel like that right there is the part that people argued for so long. So many people believed in the science of things. And now it's the science that's proving it is not safe. So many people argue with me. Friends, I'm not going to lie. Most of my friends who try to convince me to get this shit, I had to cut them off. I'm going to be completely honest. I stopped talking to people over this, bro. I distanced myself from people for trying to argue with me about getting this. You're putting everyone around you at risk. You're putting people at the, in danger. They have, st like, their main argument was, everyone that I spoke to about this topic, their main argument was, oh, they're going to use the templates from past mRNA technology in order to effectively target the current, shut the, shut the, fu shut up, bro, shut up, like, 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 shut up. That's what they're telling you, bro. Clearly, it's not effective. Clearly, it's causing bigger problems than what it's solving. They flashed you. It's, it's, literally, it's literally a form of programming. When they use extravagant numbers, when they do extravagant things, the death toll is climbing up by 50,000 people by the hour. Bro. Did you drive to any of your local hospitals and see body bags outside of the thing like the way that the news are showing you? I didn't. I know my mother worked in the hospital. She didn't. She did see a lot of people coming in sick. She did see one or two people passing. But she never saw nearly the amount of numbers. And she's in New York, a highly populated state at that. Never saw nearly the amount of numbers of people dying as the news said. That's number one. Number two, Bill Gates said it in a previous TED Talk. This happened years ago. Bill Gates said in a previous TED Talk that we need to use vaccine technology in order to lower the population to preserve oxygen levels in our world, bro. He said that the production of CO2 is endangering our species. We can't stop producing CO2 because many, many, many uh, factories and manufacturers still have to operate capital gain. There's not going to be less cars made. The CO2 emission is not going to stop. So we have to do something to stop the CO2 output. And the only thing that, the one thing that stood out in that TED Talk was a decrease in population. This was purely population control. Slight increase. A billion people got the shot. That's a lot of slights. <laughs> I thought we were dangerous conspiracy theorists. Facts. No regrets. None of us who... Facts, bro. I don't know a single person who didn't get it who is saying, I wish I got it. At all. I don't know a single person who's saying that. Another conspiracy theory comes true. I told you guys in one of my previous videos that a lot of the conspiracy theories that were told three, four years ago are coming true in our current reality. This is another example. I hope y'all pay attention to what I was saying in my last videos because this is exactly what's happening in today's society. No one understood the effects of this shot. No one understood the potential risks of this shot. They literally, in my opinion, they had this planned. In my personal opinion, they had this planned. The government has a funny way of proposing a problem and then providing a solution. They give a problem and then give a solution. 
That's what they do. That is what they do. And I find it funny that the solution always includes more government intervention. Always. Always includes more government intervention, less rights. When it came to this, they took away freedom of speech. You cannot work. You cannot go to school. You cannot be outside. You cannot go to an establishment. You cannot do any. You couldn't even go grocery shopping unless you either had it or was wearing a mask. Government control. Like every like history just shows it, bro. History shows it. But look. I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Please do not use this word right here. Please do not use these two words right here. I appreciate that. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.